Hello everyone! In this video we are going to do a very simple math problem and you're going to be surprised that many of you are actually going to get this wrong. So I don't want you to use your calculator right here because here is a problem 8 plus 8 divided by 2 and times 1 plus 3 in parentheses. So as you can see nothing hard, yeah? And of course most of you out there are like yes I can handle this problem, I can handle this as basic addition, division, multiplication and addition, I learned this stuff in the third grade so I can easily solve it, yeah? So go ahead and put your answer down in the comment section. So right here we have a, B, C, so let's check your algebra skill, let's solve it by yourself and write your answer down in a comment section and I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one minute. It will be really interesting to check our answer, so pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. Okay, and here is the question, do we do addition first before division and then multiplication or do we do division first then addition then multiplication or maybe do we do uh, multiplication first then addition division, so as you can see a lot of combination right here and for this question obviously whatever our we select is going to create a different answer, right? So division, addition, multiplication, all different answers. So we need to understand what is the correct order to solve this problem. And for this question I have this PMDMC order of operation, this is the main order of operation in the world, all internet libraries, all scientific graphing calculators work, work according to PMDMC. So let's look at it. First of all I reread this problem right here real quick. So we have 8 plus 8 divided by 2 and in parentheses 1 plus 3. And I take a red pen, I just want you to understand this order of operation. So this order of operation works from the top to the bottom. So this is the first step, this is our last step. So let's start to look about this PMDMC order of operation. So what is the first step according to PMDMC? PMDMC tells us that first step is parentheses. Okay, let's look, are there any parentheses right here? So no, 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 yeah, we have parentheses, 1 plus 3 in parentheses, so it should be our first step. So right here, this is our first step. And if we are talking about this uh, 1 plus 3, this is equal to 4. Okay, so this is equal to 4 and I just take our, uh, my black pen and I want to start with this one, so 8 plus 8 divided by 2, all the same in the beginning and right here of course multiplication and our first step is this 4, which is really great, okay, we just simplify this a little bit, let's go next. What about the next step in PMDMC? The next step in PMDMC is exponents, yeah, our exponents. So are there any square cubes right here, 4th power, 10th power? No, I don't see any of those, all 1st power, so no exponents, no square cubes, so we just skip this part, okay? So the next step, multiplication, and a lot of students do this common mistake, they say, okay, multiplication, and they multiply it first 2 times 4, but this is a really common mistake and it is a really general mistake, because our next step is multiplication and division as one group. So we need to look at our expression and we need to see are there any multiplication and division sign right here. So as you can see, where, we have, where do we have division and multiplication sign? We have multiplication sign right here and division sign right here, so this is our next step. Okay, so we don't have this uh, division and multiplication, we have addition, yeah, so we reject this uh, step right here, so we works only with this part. Okay, and what do we need to do at first, multiply or divide? Now we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. The first sign from left to right, okay, let's look at it. So the first sign from left to right is this division, yeah, so we need to divide at first. And if we divide this, so 8 divided by 2, this is equal to equal to 4, so this is our next step, and I take red pen, I just want you to understand, from the end we have like 4, and in the beginning we have 8, 8 plus this expression, okay? I hope you understand this step, and last step, okay? Addition, subtraction, oh, not last step, we have multiplication, so as you know from, from school we need to multiply real quick, because this is before addition, so 8 plus 4 times 4 equal to 16, and as a result we have like 24. Okay, 24, this is our answer. What about an option right here? So we have option C32, so as you can see we reject this option. We have option B, very tricky moment right here, because option B equal to 24, and a lot of students don't uh, see this factorial sign, because 24 factorial, this is not like 24, because this is a very huge number, so as you know. So we need to go back to this A, I guess 4 factorial, let's look at it, so 4 factorial. This is equal to a product, so 1, 2, 3 times 4, as a result, 2 times 3, uh, 6, 6 times 4, 24, okay, so for factorial this is our same answer as before, so our correct answer is option, option A, very tricky moment, this is option, option A, 4 factorial or 24 if we are talking about 
PMDMC order. This is our solution to this problem. A lot of students do this common mistake, they choose this option B, which is absolutely incorrect. So this is my solution to this problem. Okay, if you made this error, I'm happy you made this, because you won't make this error again, yeah? Okay, now if you want to check this answer, of course you can plug in into like a scientific or graphing calculator, because if you plug in like in a basic calculator on your laptop, some of those calculators, you know, just going to do the problems as you type it in. Yeah, they try to, they add it first, then divide, like step by step with, on from left to right, yeah? So we need to use your internet library if you wanted to check it, if you, if you trust me, this is a correct answer, yeah? So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, okay? Now if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain tests, you can easily subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it if you want to support me please leave a like below the video i really appreciate it as well thank you for your time have a great day i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure have a great day